Now, Lake of the Ozarks news update. Stories, events, activities, and entertainment information of interest in and around the lake area. I'm Ashley Kyle. And I'm Bob Spicer. And this is your Lake News Update brought to you by Lake TV and LakeExpo.com and sponsored by Lloyd Bell Automotive. It's shootout week and every day offers a new event leading up to the races this weekend. Hi, I'm Bill McNeil, the chairman of the RC Mini Shootout Committee. Uh, we're here at Kelly's Landing this weekend to hold the fourth annual mini shootout sponsored by Miller Light, Coors Light and RC Central. Uh, we shattered the 100 mile an hour barrier this year with a run of 119.4 miles an hour by Keith Bradley Kirchin with his electric boat, Redemption. Very exciting. He also put up a run of 105, 110, and 108. Uh, we have a lot of uh, records. We have 90 and 80 mile an hour. And every year our speed just keeps getting better and better. I'm Aaron Faulkner. I've been coming to the uh, shootout since uh, day one over at uh, Captain Ron's. Um, been in the RC uh, business for building our building boats for 10 years. And uh, I have fun doing it. Hey, Brian Kelly here from Kelly's Landing, the Mini Shootout 2013. We had a great turnout this year. We had a top speed of 119.4 miles an hour. Uh, definitely a great event. You guys have to come out next year. If you didn't make it this year, definitely make plans to come out. On Tuesday, the Shootout PWC Dam Run begins at 10 a.m. at Serdike Yamaha. Riders will go to the Truman Dam and back and celebrate at Shorty Pants beginning at 5 p.m. On Tuesday evening, the shootout volleyball tournament will begin at 4 p.m. at Captain Ron's. The tournament will run until about 8 o'clock and live entertainment will begin at 6. On Wednesday, the event's hottest race boats will set up at the shootout in the park. The fairground in Laurie is hosting the all-day event from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Fans will have the opportunity to meet the racers, shop at vendor booths, watch the kids play, and enjoy the beer garden. Live entertainment begins at 6 o'clock. On Thursday, the Shootout Hall of Fame dinner will be held from 5.30 to 7.30 at the Stables next to Cannon Smoke Saloon. The event will honor Shootout legend Bob Morgan and will officially induct racers, founders, and volunteers into the Shootout Hall of Fame. After the dinner, a benefit auction will raise money for Shootout charities. Also on Thursday evening, Waves and Wheels presents the Stereo Shootout at Camden on the Lake. That event crowns the top guns of sound on Lake Ozarks. On Friday, the Poly Lift Poker Run begins with breakfast at 7.30 in the morning at Backwater Jacks and runs until 7 that night. Poker Run participants race to the lake's hottest lakefront bars and restaurants in an attempt to draw the best poker run hand for prizes and more importantly to raise money for shootout charities. Then it's time for the main event. On Saturday, the shootout opening ceremony begins at 8.30 a.m., National Anthem at 10. Ceremony will be held for the unveiling of the Bob Morgan Memorial Statue and Shootout Wall of Fame. Then, tens of thousands of boaters line the race course at the 34-mile marker for a full day of racing. At 7 o'clock, the live entertainment kicks off as Captain Ron's presents the Beatles tribute band, Liverpool Legends. This Saturday promises to be the most impressive full day of shootout action ever experienced. But it does not stop there. On Sunday, the racing continues all day, followed by the crowning of new Top Guns at the 4 p.m. awards ceremony. Don't miss the shootout action happening all week, and be sure to check out the full coverage at lakeexpo.com. We'll be right back after a message from our sponsor, Lloyd Belt Automotive. When we return, we'll bring you this weekend's live music schedule the news and review, and more events coming this week around the lake, so stay with us. Hi, Lloyd Belt here. Tired of high pressure, big city car dealers? Me too. At Lloyd Belt Automotive, we provide nice, comfortable family environment. I'll even bring you a cup of coffee or a nice cold soda. At Lloyd Belt Automotive, you're always a good deal better.
would tell anybody, like I say, this is like heaven on earth today. There's no better place on earth to be right now than Lake of the Ozarks. You gotta definitely come down here and check it out. This is just the number one boating spot in the U.S. You come out, largest gathering of boaters and boat enthusiasts in the Midwest, meet a lot of fun people. Always a good time every year, rain or shine. Invite everybody to come out and have a good time and see the beautiful boats and the beautiful people that are here. It gets bigger and better every year. A dramatic meeting last week ended with the Camdenton School Board agreeing in closed session to let the public sit in on middle school principal Sean Kirksey's personal hearing. Kirksey has been on administrative leave since the district says it discovered irregularities in map testing this spring. Protesters stood with signs outside last week's board meeting in support of Kirksey, and several students spoke at the meeting about Kirksey's positive influence in their lives. Kirksey's hearing has not yet been scheduled, and it remains to be seen whether Camdenton Middle School will be looking for a new principal in the near future. Governor Jay Nixon has signed a bill that transfers the responsibility for concealed carry permits from the state revenue department to local county sheriffs. The bill comes after news this spring that the Missouri Highway Patrol released a list of more than 163,000 Missouri concealed carry permit holders. The Highway Patrol received that list from the Department of Revenue. Under the new law, sheriff's departments will process applications and issue the permits. Original permit fees are not allowed to exceed $100 and renewal fees cannot exceed $50. The Sunrise Beach Board of Trustees has again put up stiff opposition to requests for an expanded quarry. McGruger Quarry and Equipment has modified their rezoning request to Camden County, and Sunrise Beach has urged the county planning and zoning to vote no. Because of the village's opposition, the county will now have to approve the zoning change with a super majority. McGruger has been trying to expand his quarry for several months, and the company has met opposition all along the way. Hey, if you miss a turn in the village of Fort seasons, you might blame the thieves who've been stealing signs in the area. A few months ago, thieves began stealing flags from the Property Owners Association. Now road signs are being cut off their poles. John Jenkins, the president of the Horseshoe Bend Special Road District, says the signs are not only expensive to replace, but their absence could spell trouble for emergency crews responding to a crisis. The association hopes either the thieves will see the error of their ways <laughs> or that law enforcement eventually catches them. Sunrise Beach could be saving more than $80,000 with some recent changes to the construction plan for Highway 5. The Missouri Department of Transportation is planning to eliminate several entrances into the highway, and that means less cost for curbs and gutters. The project is currently in the bidding stage and is now projected to cost Sunrise Beach around $650,000. School districts have been stepping up their security recently, and this fall, Morgan County South Elementary will have a full-time sheriff's deputy on campus every day. This is the first time the school has employed a full-time resource officer. Deputy Katie Pryor will greet students and parents in the morning. During the day, she'll help the kids with their classroom reading assignments. And at the end of the day, Deputy Pryor will be stationed by the front door as kids are picked up to go home. Here's some solid advice for all you bass fishermen out there. Rain and cool nights have dropped the lake temperature into the upper 70s, and local fishing pro Jim Dill says that is good news for anglers. Fish will be near the surface chasing their favorite food, shad. So any lure that imitates shad is a good one to use right now. Casting alongside a dock or underneath the dock flotation is one of the best ways to catch bass and crappie. And if you're fishing at night, underwater brush piles are a good place to start. The time is right, so stop fishing and get out there and start catching. Now, besides the shootout, here are some more events you should catch this week. If you want to support the Crop Hunger Walk this Wednesday, Culver's and Osage Beach will be donating a portion of their proceeds to the fundraiser. And on Thursday, Chili's will be doing the same. The Hunger Walk is scheduled for Saturday, September 14th at Ruthie D's and will raise money for local charities. On Friday, Columbia College at the Lake will be hosting a career fair from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And if you're looking for a new career, this might be the place to find it. Are you looking for cool stuff and the cheapest prices around? On Saturday, the Lori Fairgrounds will host a 27-acre yard sale with more than 40 booths. The selling begins at 8 a.m. Don't miss the deals. On Saturday and Sunday, Dogwood Hills Golf Resort hosts its 43rd annual two-man scramble. The event pays out more than $30,000 in prizes. Visit dogwoodhillsresort.com and register. 
By the way, here's a program note from Lake TV. You know, the high school football schedule is looming very closely in the future, and we put together three great sponsorship packages that uh, you can buy into and uh, sponsor your favorite team. Uh, so if you're interested in that, we have three different packages for you to choose from, and if you'll uh, call that number at the bottom of the screen, we'll take care of you. Thanks for watching the Lake News Update brought to you by Lake TV and LakeExpo.com. Stay tuned for an important closing message from Lloyd Bell Automotive, where you're always a great deal better. I'm Ashley Kyle. And I'm Bob Spicer. And this has been your Lake News Update. <laughs>football season is just about here and lake tv will be there for every exciting play we're delay broadcasting every game on tv on youtube and on our website we've put together three exciting sponsorship packages that will fit perfectly with your business and your budget your business will be showcased in every game all season it's great exposure for your business and a great opportunity to show support for your favorite team to learn more about sponsoring high school football on lake tv call us at 573-552-8832 be a part of televised local high school football. Call today. Hi, Lloyd Belt here. Tired of high pressure, big city car dealers? Me too. At Lloyd Belt Automotive, we provide nice, comfortable family environment. I'll even bring you a cup of coffee or a nice cold soda. At Lloyd Belt Automotive, you're always a good deal better.